A New Jersey state trooper is accused of repeatedly pulling over women to ask them out on dates. Eric Richardson of Camden. It's glorified. I don't care what their names in general, but I'm not here to glorify them. You know what I mean? This is a, they had their time. You know, this, this is my two years of silence right here. Yeah. Pleaded guilty to using an FBI database to obtain personal information about a driver. He stood in the interview and he said, it's okay, you can tell us that you took this job to wear a cool uniform to pull over pretty females. That's what he said in the interview. That's what he said in the interview. Officials say Richardson took photos of a woman's driving history from the FBI database and would text it to a friend. At this time, he proceeded to reach behind him look into his briefcase and pull out this piece of paper. And he says, well, you have been criminally charged with, I said, whoa, 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 whoa. But brought you on today, you know, we wanted to hear your story. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have heard about, you know, the thing that was in the paper some time ago, um, where we were in court, of course, for a couple of different uh, charges. So we brought you on today, really, you know, because we wanted to hear your side of the story because I know a lot of people have already made judgments about, yeah. you know, what they write in the paper, and that's what people do, they make judgments. So we brought you here today to kind of like clear the air so that people can hear your side of the story. All right, exactly. All right, well, look, man, I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for having me, man. Um, like you said, uh, you know, uh, people, they're going to hear one side of the story, they're going to run with it. You know, the uh, truth is there's going to be three sides of the story. It's going to be yours, it's going to be theirs, and it's going to be the truth. So, um, I mean, let's get right into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, what, if you can just give us a, you know, for those who might not know, a bit of a summary, you know, of everything that went down. All right, so um, back in 2017, um, I was uh, accused and charged from New York State Police of um, harassing females. And, um, they, um, I was, you know, automatically suspended without pay, and I was charged on the criminal level. And um, as time, obviously, when it first happened, you know, everybody they had, they were quick to judge. You know, uh, you know, some people were like, oh, well, you know, that's not him. You know, that's not the child. I know. Mm -hmm. Most people, you know, if you got a hundred people that's supporting you. That's what I was like, awesome. I was like, what? <laughs> if you got, if you got a hundred people supporting you, yeah. you got two hundred waiting on your downfall. So they were just like, oh man, I knew he was that kind and that's what he did and you know, blah, blah, blah. One thing about me, like I never changed, you know what I mean? Before I was the same person, you know, um, I was before I put that uniform on, you know, and that's me. Even when I was doing a job, I never changed. But um, unfortunately, um, I became a victim of a witch hunt. Uh, myself along with um, some other um, African American troopers, we were targeted by the state police and uh, we we were targeted by the state police, and uh, we were, um, which resulted in us, you know, stop, uh, not working for them anymore. But um, like I said, man, I could sleep at night. You know, I, I know what I did. I know what I didn't do. Um, I was, I was kind of, I, I would say, I wouldn't say excelling or you know, like shooting through the roof, but I was doing my job each and every day. Um, it, it, it's, I went out there. I worked. You know, um, I didn't, you know, think I was better than anyone. I treated people with respect. And, you know, some people didn't like that. And you know how it is. I mean, this is a podcast, and we're keeping real. Yeah, yeah. You're not playing in, in the same, you know, sandbox with them, then they're going to come after you. Yeah, you know what I mean? So I wasn't part of that clip, per se. So, so what were you seeing is, you know, you just said, you know, you were moving up. How, how long were you? I was coming home. Uh, uh, 2017, so four years. Four and a half years, yeah. And you, you were just moving, you were moving I, I, was, I was just moving at a steady pace, man. I was, you know, I was, you know, uh, uh, I was up, up there as far as, uh, you know, we don't have the quota per se, mm -hmm. but car stops and arrests, like, you know, my numbers were good. You yeah, know, yeah. I, I mean, I never. You were never, at least in this shit. Absolutely. Yeah. I've uh, never been written up, uh, never had a complaint against me. Mm -hmm. You know, my, my work file was immaculate. You know, there was, was nothing in my work file. Yeah. You know, for for them to just uh, crucify me the way they did. So, so the um, do you think you progressing the way you did was that were you you think you, you looked at it as a threat? 
Somewhere. I mean, I wouldn't say a threat. It's definitely, you know, you are um, <coughs> you're African American, so you are when you're born yeah, African American, that's, that's you are already. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah, true. That's, that's where I was. You going. know what I mean? Like the fact is that you know, upon my, uh, you know, we graduated academy back in uh, 2013, there weren't many African American troopers, you know, with the New Jersey mm -hmm. State Police. So we know that the New Jersey State Police is the most. Uh, uh, Freshly profiled law enforcement in this country. I mean, the facts, the facts are the put. They used to catch a body every summer when they came in. That's just real. That's, I worked in a hospital, they would drink them in there like, you know. So, I mean, the facts is real. You know, yeah. he, he, I don't know any, um, I don't know any company or, or job that, that that billboards or you know advertises how many mm -hmm. minorities they hire. Yeah. You know, you don't hear Target or Foot Locker or you know even Camden Air Gang, uh, Camden Metro Park. Mm -hmm. You don't see them billboard. Oh, we just hired you know uh, uh, 56 minorities, the most diverse, <clears throat> the most diverse class ever. Like that right there, you know, says that hey. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, they're paying attention to. The race that, you know, races they bring in. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And that's, absolutely. You find that, you don't even think of it that way, you just think people keep it statistics. Mm -hmm. But they, it's, they, they kind of use that, like, you know, look look what we're doing now. Right, we, right. I shouldn't have to look what you're doing now. Right, right. You know, so it right. should just be natural. It should be natural. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Well, you have to, like, when you have to highlight something like that, it's like, that means you were deficient in that area. Right. Yeah. yeah. You're trying to bring light to stuff. Just say, like, hey, we do have this. You know? Absolutely. I mean, I mean, the, the state police, you know, they have been uh, sued for, uh, you know, uh, by the NAACP mm -hmm. and other, you know, organizations mm -hmm. for the lack of diversity within the organization. So, I mean, that, that, that's a fact. So, I wanted to go back to the, um, the incident, right? Are you able to speak on that? Kind of like yeah, we can like speak on it. Details you know, of, like, what, what happened and, like, why would that... The basic just us walk us through what All right, so, you know, I'll give you basically the, the synopsis of it. Uh, it's basically that, um... Uh, Jesus, let me get this in order here. So, stop the female. Jeez, uh, it might have been around this time, the week before Thanksgiving, back in 2016. So I stopped it back in 2016. Uh, I believe some registration was expired, whatever the case may be. So I conducted the stop. Reason for stop was the registration expired. And she was like, oh, I didn't know. You called the registration to my dad, you know, so on and so on. Okay, fine, you know, actually, you know, the protocol is your license and everything, fine. If your license is fine, then I'm going to go ahead and cut you a break, you know, do my job. So I went back, everything was fine, the papers and everything was, was good, and I cut her a break. You know, keep in mind, it's a holiday, I didn't tow her car, I didn't give her a ticket, you know what I mean? Because I'm, I'm human at the end of the day, mm -hmm. you know, so I'm like, hey, you know, just get this uh, situated as soon as you can. Mm -hmm. She's like, okay, all right, fine, no problem. This was, like I said, the week of uh, November. So... You take the week, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go, I'm going to yeah, talk about where it starts and I'm going to jump back if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So this is the week of November and then here we are in the middle of December yeah. and uh, a, a trooper um, of North Jersey, um, he was uh, involved in some things, you know, he happened to be my classmate, but uh, he was involved in some things and that kind of quote unquote, as they say, uh, as they said, blackball the state police, you know, because he was uh, accused of basically, for the most part, accused of what they said I was doing, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But once again, he was accused of these things. And it was a, a big story of Central Jersey and North Jersey. Let's just keep it real, we're down South Jersey. Our news feed doesn't come from NJ.com. Mm -hmm. Our news feed is Philly.com, Carrier Post, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? Stuff like that. So NJ.com, it was a, it was a, it was a big thing up, up there. And they kind of, you know, quote unquote, as they say, caught the state police, uh, uh, you know, off guard. You know, and obviously not to go into his case, that, that's his own issue, that, yeah. that's his stuff. But, um, you know, like I say, he was accused of these things. So since that, quote unquote, made the state police look bad, okay, it's public for him. it was like, oh man, we got to take these things serious now. Yeah. So this is the middle of December, okay? January 2nd, um, I'm on patrol. I'm on the Atlantic City Expressway, and um, I'm coming back onto the expressway, and I'm conducting what's called a motorist aid. Okay, so a motorist aid is obviously you know when a uh, uh, driver's in distress, whatever the case may be, and you know you can go and make sure everything's okay. Good. So as I'm conducting the motorist aid, this is I believe where they try to say that I you know deactivated the camera, and and uh, uh, it's kind of. Um, 
uh, it's customary to what we do. Mm -hmm. So although we know as per SOP, per guidelines, that camera's supposed to be rolling the entire time, okay? But however, this is what we were taught. This is not, we didn't come into, especially with four, you know, four and a half years on, I didn't come into this organization with anything will. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Senior troops, they troop, we know, you know, uh, the camera's supposed to be rolling. But the most important thing during the morning's age is you call out the, um, the car stop and um, the location, I'm sorry, and the, uh, and the registration to the vehicle. And, yeah. You know, it's got to be if anything happens, we know the last spot you were, and we know what car to look for. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, once that call, once that, you know, that's done, you go ahead and you connect to the vehicle. Once again, this is something that I was taught, this is something I learned, you know, from seeing other troopers do it. I cannot get back working again. Right. So I'm like, alright, cool, let's go. So it's like, he's all nervous, he's disheveled. Like, I don't know what they're here for, man, but you know, whatever, let him hear whatever you want to hear. So I'm like, oh. whatever you want to hear, I'm like, I'm letting him hear the truth, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, all right, so I went to the bathroom and I had went to his office and it was the major, the major was in his office. And uh, he was like, here, you know, get here for you. I'm like, okay, yeah. So he's like, um, before you go in, can you hand your gun over to you?